Gateway District Parks and uh, lots really happening with that one as well. Uh, there is a stake by in Gateway Rail. So let's uh, try and understand where really is this one headed. Uh, we've got on board with us Sachin Bhanushali, the director and CEO at Gateway District Parks. Uh, Sachin, hi morning. Uh, what is this transaction with Blackstone and when exactly would it be completed? Hi, morning Ayesha. Thanks for having us on ET now. Uh, this was an investment by a private equity player uh, in 2010. And uh, over a period of last eight years, we have been able to stabilize this business by setting up terminals in Gurgaon, Faridabad, uh, Ludhiana, and the fourth terminal that we have set up at uh, uh, Viramgam near Ahmedabad. Uh, the transaction basically involves uh, uh, buying out the CCPS held by uh, the private equity investors uh this transaction is to be completed by uh, 30th of september uh, during which uh, we are supposed to give effect to the definitive agreement which has been signed between the two companies on the 26th of uh, uh, june and it involves uh, payment of 810 crore rupees as a consideration towards buying these uh, ccps out uh, the idea behind this consolidation essentially is uh, the Gateway District Parks is in the business of container freight stations. Gateway Rail Freight is in the business of ICD and rail transportation. These are generically similar businesses. Basically, the Gateway Rail business is an extension of uh, GDL business. And uh, with our relationship with the customers as well as the shipping lines, for whom primarily we do the rail, uh, rail and road bridge between the port and CFS as well as ICD, we'll be able to consolidate our activity. Uh, it will also help us in giving uh, uh, full control over the uh, uh, PNL and balance sheet of uh, Gateway Rail Freight Limited. Now it will be possible for us to consolidate Gateway Rail Financials into Gateway District Parks Financials uh, to full extent. So that's that's the uh, main idea behind this. Morning, Mr. Bhanushali. So we've understood what exactly this is going to bring to the table for the company or what it means for your company. Uh, and now let's just talk about the overall acquisition. I understand this is an entire cash consideration of a total of 810 crores. Am I correct or not? And if you could tell us what exactly you'd be using to fund this uh, stake purchase. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's basically a total consideration of 810 crores involving entirely uh, cash element. Uh, at present, both the companies put together have roughly 300 uh, crore rupees as uh, cash on hand. And we will raise somewhere around 500 crore rupees by way of uh, debt. Uh, both the companies put together are at a very low gear. We, we believe in the importance of uh, cash flow in both the companies. And that is why we have remained uh, both very strong on infrastructure. And at the same time, we have not been extremely bullish on the uh, uh, the debt side of the balance sheet as well. So it will be easily possible for us to uh, uh, raise uh, 500 crore rupees between these two companies so that uh, the total consideration of 810 crores can be paid to the uh, investor. Okay, fair point. Uh, tell me about, you know, since we have you on the occasion of one year of GST as well, uh, has the business volume increased in line with expectation or would you say that there were those teething troubles because of which on an annual basis maybe uh, it's not been a very favorable impact with GST implementation? Uh there is a mixed response, I would say. Uh, initially, when GST implementation started, implementation started, uh, uh, there were quite a few people on its side as well as against it. Uh, uh, the main advantage of GST is going to be uh, border crossing uh, uh, time, which will which is involved, as well as multiple taxes which are uh, paid by uh, uh, various uh, operators at the state level and the central level will have gone away, and we have a single tax regime wherein. It is possible to take set off for the uh, uh, inputs uh, very easily. It is also an electronically driven system. Over a period of time, the e-way bill has got stabilized. So on the whole, I would say it is a positive as far as the first uh, one year of uh, GST is concerned. There are quite a few issues involved here. One major issue which is involved for uh, which applies to Gateway Rail Freight Limited is that uh, transportation of cargo by uh, any means uh, in containers is at present taxed at 5%. Whereas when you transport cargo in containers on train uh, through a private operator, the GST applicable is 12%. So this is uh, uh, to some extent putting us in a little uh, uh, less competitive position vis-a-vis -vis the road transportation uh, uh, as such. So we have been raising this issue with uh, both the uh, planning commission as well as the Commerce Ministry. 
Uh, we have sent our representation to the GST Council as well. Hopefully, this will get, this should get resolved. Uh, as a company, we are happy with the way uh, GST has uh, unfolded over a period of time. Uh, the refunds have also started coming in. Initially, there was a little bit of trepidation about whether the refunds would be done uh, uh, on time or not. But those have also started coming in. And I think from revenue point of view also, uh, we are very close to the monthly mark of uh, 1 lakh crore rupees of uh, collection. So on the whole, I would give thumbs up to the uh, uh, GST one year. Okay, thanks for giving us a clearer picture of what GST has me meant for your sector as well as this overall transaction for the stake buy and gateway rail. It's going to be for an overall consideration of 800 odd crore rupees and the acquisition will take the stake from 50% to 99.8%.